The following portion of Good Day Stateline is sponsored by Rockford Public Library. Bridget Finn is back tonight from the Rockford Public Library. We're going to talk all about their adult online high school program. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. So this is a really cool program, and I know that you love it. I love it. <laughs> it's maybe my favorite thing I get to be a part of at the library. Rockford Public Library has an adult online high school that gives adult students who still have their high school diploma and earn a low friction pathway to earning their diploma, not a GED, not a certificate of completion, an actual diploma online with resources and support, both virtually and at the library. So you told me that this actually started right before COVID, but COVID was an interesting time for the program because it's when you realized how good it was. How, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. How, uh, we were able to prove its efficacy. We, we started the program before COVID and then we realized that it really was gonna work and we had a community champion in Peter Provenzano and Heather Provenzano and we went out and raised money so that we could provide scholarships to different students. So we got about 15 students in the program at that time. And then, you know, our world shut down. Yeah. And everyone at the library was focused on, you know, rerouting our library service to being virtual. And we were kind of unaware of what was happening. But what was happening were these 15 students were working their way through the curriculum and graduating from high school. Awesome. It is. So this year, we are going to have our graduation on Wednesday. Um, the 19th of June, and we're so excited. We have our largest class graduating yet. We have 48 students, wow. which is gonna bring our total number of students that have graduated in the last four or five years to 94 wow. students total. Yeah, it's remarkable, it's remarkable. Yeah, it's a really awesome thing that some of these people probably thought they would never be able to achieve. I think many of them. There are several students who have attempted to take the GED exams at different times and not passed all the pieces of it, and we were able to help them find their diploma. We go back and help you get your transcripts from the uh, Department of Education and all these credits that apply towards the diploma, then we work through a really valid curriculum and you'll get your diploma at the end of it. So you mentioned scholarships. Every student has one? Every student has a scholarship. And it's exciting to support. We have a grassroots effort that's happened throughout our community. Individuals and businesses have all come together to give these people in Rockford really another chance at the opportunities in front of them career-wise. Most of our, our graduates go on to uh, Rock Valley College or other college programs or job trainings. Um, and almost all of our, our students have kids at home. Yeah. So the kids are seeing mom and dad work on their, their school. And uh, the impact of the focus on education is felt by the whole family. And that's kind of a key too, is that most of the students either have kids at home, have a job, both, where the idea of going to a school to do this is probably not gonna fit into their schedule. It will be challenging at yeah. any rate. Our students are able to work after they get home from work, they work in the evenings, or if they are working professionally in the evenings, they could do it in their mornings. They're able to do their homework right alongside their children. Um, it's really a, again, I keep using that term, low friction way yeah. for adults to amid their busy lives, go back and get that diploma. That's so awesome. Now, for anyone who's interested in learning more about this, once the new library opens, you guys are gonna have a really cool way for people to do that. Well, we have a really cool way, yes, absolutely, because Hart, it's been happening um, for years, but Hart is closed now. But as soon as the new library opens, anyone interested in becoming a student can uh, attend an info intake session. Okay. Uh, Leon Smith at the library, we've spoken to before, uh, he runs those sessions. They're every single Wednesday, I believe there's one at 11 a.m. and then there's a second one at noon. And then if you want to be a part of the Grassroots Solution, you can go to our website or you can email Brooke Loomis at the library because cool. that we have a huge network of people who are really helping. That's and awesome. Yeah, nothing's too small. Every well, little bit pre Pre-congratulations, because it's not quite June 19th yet, but to those 48 graduates, that's such a huge accomplishment and very cool that the library is behind it all. It is. Thanks for coming in, Bridget. I'm so happy to be here. Spirit Day is next. We are making some cocktails because it's never too early to prepare for the weekend. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> The preceding portion of Good Day Stateline was sponsored by Rockford Public Library.